You're watching Cheery TV. Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome back to Cannibal Crossing Quickies, where I talk about what I want to talk about, whatever it may be, whenever, and it conveniently is this week, because again, this whole week we're doing Cannibal Crossing Quickies. If you didn't tune in last yesterday, tune on in. I talk about Warframe and a quick, fun little story about that it involves. Uh, some inconspicuous head. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, but today, I have a different story for you. Something more grounded and in real life. Uh, this is about the time that a lizard haunted my walks to work. Uh, a very bizarre tale, for sure, because I still don't entirely understand. Like, it concluded. It's no longer a thing. Spoiler alert. But I still have no idea what the hell was going on there. It was, it's basically like a freaking like a B-plot of like a horrible horror movie. It's like I imagine, like, there's some college kids with a camera across the street, like, filming my reactions to this to try to gauge, like, a proper horror movie or something like that. I don't know, because it's just such a weird situation. Basically what happened, um, this was a while ago, and I did actually talk about this a few times on Stranded Deep in conversation during my, my This Week in Retail segments. Uh, this was, it, it spanned, like, a month or two, at least, and then I think it went away for a little bit and it came back. It was a very weird situation where... Basically, I walk to work most days, uh, as some fair amount of people probably do, um, and towards the end of the walk, I hit like a weird, like there's there's grass everywhere, because where I am is basically the middle of nowhere, but this specific spot, there's like a, like a big old like drainage pipe, like a huge drainage tunnel thing, and then there's like some weird grass and like a weird bump in the road and, and the dirt and everything, it's a very weird spot, and in that spot one day, like normally, like, again normally, pretty just nothing nothing to see nothing to write home about just a weird fucking lump of ground uh but one day i tune in and i'm looking to my right uh, and there's something in the grass and i'm like what what is that what's happening in there and uh, from the title and from me telling you what the story is going to be it's a lizard it's just like a weird gecko lizard thing in the, the in in the, the grass and he's not moving at all might I add. He's not moving an inch. I don't know if he's afraid of me. I don't know if he sees something that I don't. I don't know if he's just playing dead. I, I have no idea. Cause he's not moving. I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. Look at the little dude. But it's very, like, uncanny. Because the fact that he's not moving and the fact that his eyes were just like a pure black ball, I couldn't tell genuinely if it was alive, if it was real, if what the hell it was, because it literally was just standing there, not moving an inch, not moving a muscle, it just stood there, in the grass, and I'm like, hmm, are you real? And I didn't want to go up to it and poke it, because what if it was real? I, what if it was, what if it was like, 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 like a disease on it or something, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna poke it out of curiosity if I can get disease, that's kind of gross. So, I'm just, I just leave it alone, I'm like, okay, well, cool lizard, I'll, uh, bye, <laughs> I, and I assume... Uh, that was the last time I was going to see this lizard. The next day rolls around, and I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, and I see this lizard in the same spot. The exact same spot, actually, which makes me think, okay, it's it's got to be fake, right? There's no way it's not fake. It's probably just like one of those weird plastic toy lizards that just looks very realistic for some reason that some kid must have just left in this weird patch of grass, which begs the question... Is there a child in this drainage ditch? <laughs> but I didn't. I, I didn't ever ask that question because I was more focused on the lizard. Because after a few more days of me assuming it's fake, I notice underneath it, like what I think is a very weird red spot, which then makes me think, oh, I think the lizard's just dead. I think something crawled inside of it and exploded or something or something. Something fucked up this lizard, and it has just been—it's just been sitting here dead, and maybe you're gonna start decomposing soon. I don't know how fast decomposing works, especially for like reptiles. I don't know how fast that works, so I'm just like, oh, shit. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I'm sorry, little dude. Feel bad for it. And every time I walk by it now, instead of feeling kind of silly, I feel kind of sad. And then a few more days go by, and I'm looking at this lizard, and I'm like, wait a minute. No, that's just a weird shadow. That's not that's not blood, is it? That's definitely just a weird shadow. And I I, I like lean down to look a little bit closer. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah there's nothing. Right. This is a weird shadow because it's like I don't understand how it's making that shadow, but it's a weird shadow. Because when I move, it kind of moves with it. So yeah, it's it's not blood. Pfft, stupid me getting freaked out over nothing. And I'm like, okay, so it's it's just a fake toy. That's just a stupid toy. Move on with your life. It's a toy. But every time I walk by it, I still have that inner turmoil of is it real? 
Like, what's it doing? Because it, it, it's not like it's moving at all. But it looks so realistic. Like, the textures look very realistic. Nothing about it screams plastic to me, except for the very weird eyes and the fact it's not moving at all. But I'm just like, why isn't it moving? Why is it here? Who brought this here? There's no other toys in the vicinity, and it's, like, stationed perfectly. It's not like it's, like, sideways or anything. It's literally perfectly still, in the dirt, in, in the grass, just existing. And I'm just like, okay, weird, but whatever. And a, a few more days go by, and eventually, the lizard is just gone. And I'm like, oh, cool, so he must have walked away, or maybe some kid dug his toy back. I don't know. I still don't, I have no idea. I don't understand what's going on, but he's gone. Yippee, I don't have to feel haunted on my way to work anymore. This is fantastic. A few more days go by of feeling pure bliss, pure solitude, just joy walking down the road. Being able to just breathe fresh air and enjoy the summer breeze. I don't know when, what time of year this was, if I'm being honest. I think it was pretty cold. So I, that's another reason why I thought maybe he just died. Maybe he just is frozen <laughs> in the dirt. I don't know. But either way, a few more days go by, and i just looking at the patch of grass. I'm like, oh, yep, there's no lizard. I don't see it where it was before. And as I'm looking back towards the sidewalk where I'm walking, I notice a, like, thicker patch of grass uh, on, like, the very edge of the sidewalk. And there's, like, a bunch of, like, really big blades of grass and, like, a big old, like, not a bush, but it's, like, a, like, a thicker patch of grass that clearly wasn't mowed because it's very awkwardly by the concrete. And inside that grass, I shit you not, was that lizard again. It wasn't upside down. It wasn't weirdly. It wasn't like obviously like again. It was in a very realistic ex like expression, a realistic position. It looked like the lizard <coughs> would have just moved into the grass, maybe to get warmer. Maybe there were some bugs in there, and he was hungry. I don't know. But again, he wasn't moving at all. It was just a lizard in some grass. And I'm like, what, what, what do I do with this? What, 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 what's, what's the point? What's the purpose here? It's starting to freak me the fuck out. I'm like, why is the lizard? Hello? And at this point, I'm super tempted to poke it just to see. Just to confirm my suspicions. But I, I didn't because I'm still like, I don't have like a... I'm not going to poke it with... What if I poke it and it gets, like, it, it gets annoyed? I don't want to annoy this lizard because I'm a dumbass. You know, like... I just want the lizard to be a lizard, but I also want it to not be a lizard because I don't understand what's happening. Because then another few days go by, lizard stays in this patch of grass. And actually, it stays in this patch of grass for a very long time. For like a few weeks, even. And then one day, and this is the freakiest bit, one day, I notice it's not in a patch of grass anymore. It is on top of the drainage pipe. Just looking down, I'm not, not like looking down, but it's like, it's like, it looks like it's like looking off into the, to the horizon of the drainage ditch. It's not looking at towards me anymore. It's looking away. And again, nothing is like awkwardly like above ground or anything. It's all like melded into the ground. So it's like something, it's like, it's like someone, it's like a lizard standing there. It's not like a plastic lizard has been placed there. It looks like a real lizard has been, is just sitting there, but it's not moving doesn't move at all its eyes don't move nothing moves it's just it's the lizard on a drainage ditch and i come back the next day no longer on the drainage ditch it's back in the grass it's back in that big grassy patch i'm like what the fuck what is going on eventually it got super conspiracy because my i told my sister about it and she was like maybe like geico's planted a lizard so you can remind yourself to get car insurance on the road i'm like maybe honestly it's small but it could work I believe it because it's just there, and I don't understand why. It, it is literally like a perfect Geico green lizard, too, so it, it's very possible. And after a few more weeks of that being in the grass, disappeared. Disappeared without a trace. And I never have, I've not seen it since, as far as I'm concerned. I might be mis misconstruing things. Again, these are all unscripted. The Cannibal Crossing Quickies are unscripted, so I haven't really thought about it very much. I just thought of the time that happened to me, and I figured I should say it again, because it's been a while since I talked about it, and I just recently reminded myself about it, and I was like, this is insane. It was such a crazy fucking story. So as far as I'm concerned, Lizard does no longer exist. I don't know if it was swooped up by a hawk. I don't know if a child saw it in the grass. Oh, my toy from, like, fucking four months ago. Wow! But it's gone. And I still think about it every time I walk by that particular patch of land because it's I it could still be there. It could still. I look around sometimes. I'm like, is it like in the 
trying to stick or something like I'm trying like I lean over to try to see more angles to see if I can find it. It's gone. It's gone for now. I don't know how long it's gonna be gone, but it is gone for now. But it haunted me for several months, and it was a very wacky time. But uh, that about wraps it up for today. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for tomorrow where I talk about something else. Not this, whatever it may be. I have no idea. But hope you'll find out tomorrow. Have a good one, y'all. Have a good rest of your day. Bye now.